respected students welcome back everyone today's video is about what is jira okay so while applying to the job when you are receiving job description from a company you might have seen this word jira is required or when you get a call from hr the first hr round that time also the hr is asking whether you know jira or not okay so it is the most important thing it is a project management tool okay so we will start with the video properly end to end i will explain you in this video and what i have seen okay and it will be totally from my experience what i have used i have used this jira for more than 2 to 3 years so i will explain from my whole experience what i have seen how i have used that okay so before starting the video make sure you are subscribing to channel and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram and telegram okay so let's start with the video properly end to end i will explain you what is jira okay so the first point is that it is the project management tool understood it doesn't have anything to do with uh, fetching data in power bi or nothing else okay the database are snowflake sql jira has nothing to do with that the most important thing because i have seen many students those who are saying that uh, we can fetch the data from or can we fetch the data from jira no it is a project management tool okay where all your work done is mentioned in detail properly see you can read this first point it is a project management tool where all your work done is mentioned in detail properly yeah? in detail okay so mostly it is used with foreign clients especially especially from us uk when i was working in of my one of my previous company na that time i was working with indian clients if you are working with indian clients uh, let's take example hdfc bank uh, sbi or anything okay for example that time jira is not used the the need for the jira is that when you work with foreign client na foreign client pays to your company on hourly basis for you okay foreign client Uh, for example let's take example that you are working in tcs okay and uh, you are um, client is facebook let's assume so facebook is from usa okay you are working in tcs so at the time of working you are a developer so that uh, foreign client will pay like 5 dollars 10 dollars 15 20 dollar on hourly basis to your company for you okay so that's the reason when they are for example if they are paying 10 dollars to you on hourly basis so what they uh, demand or what they request is that if i am paying 10 dollar for the for this developer for every hour so in that particular hour what he had done that everything they uh, ask in detail goes that's the reason why jira is used in jira na, what work you have done for example 8 hours or 9 hours we mostly work mostly 8 hour works we have to show in jira because one hour goes in that stand up call meeting or uh, every all that uh, meetings which are there okay so 8 hours works we show properly in that jira then what whether you have created power bi file or whether you have connected with dev team for understanding the view or store procedure whether you have connected with qa team for understanding the observations in report okay so what i have explained till now the two points let me repeat it again okay it is very simple video first of all thing it is very simple video the first point is it is project management tool okay it doesn't have anything to do with fetching data in power bi or any other bi tool tableau click sense okay here we mention properly work what we have done in detail second thing is use mostly with foreign clients the reason why because they pay you on hourly basis with indian clients we don't use jira what i have seen uh, the third point is uh, we create story subtask it spike bug story on sprint planning day okay so let me uh, go to sprint what is sprint so uh, we have a sprint of either 2 weeks 3 weeks or 4 weeks okay it depends upon company and uh, the level advanced level of projects if the uh, reports are really advanced then your sprint will be like 4 weeks and if basic then 2 to 3 weeks or at intermediate level then 2 to 3 weeks okay the company or the client which i have worked there the sprint was of 3 weeks okay so uh, let's assume that your sprint is of 3 weeks and uh, you have got 2 to 3 power bi reports of one page or two page to make 
ठीक है एंड देन यू आर हैविंग टू टू थ्री डेवलपर्स इन योर टीम और वन और टू डेवलपर्स इन योर कंपनी सो दिस वे द वर्क इज डन सो वॉट यू डू ना वी क्रिएट स्टोरी इन जीरा ठीक है स्टोरी इज क्रिएटेड आई विल ऑल्सो शो यू स्क्रीन शॉट ऑल्सो सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपरली सो वी क्रिएट स्टोरी देर सब टास्क देर आई टी स्पाइक एंड बर्क स्टोरी सो वॉट इज द स्टोरी द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वॉट इज द स्टोरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स एज्यूम दैट यूर वन पावर बी आर रिपोर्ट इज देर ऑफ सेल्स ओके सेल्स पावर बी आर रिपोर्ट इज देर सो इन दैट स्टोरी ना everything will be mentioned properly of that sales uh, report what database team is going to work okay what business analysis team is going to work what power bi uh, team is going to work and what qa team is going to work all the four teams which are there all their work will be mentioned properly in detail under the story theek okay? hai under the story all four teams which are there power bi team business analysis team database team qa team or any other team is there there everyone's properly the work will be mentioned and the original time which is required for example if power bi report is there basic then you will mention that you need <coughs> <coughs> then you will mention that you will need 2 to 3 days to make that power bi report ba team will say that business analysis team that they need to do analysis on that report so they will need another 2 days for it uh, validation team qa team will say that they need again 3 days to uh, verify the numbers and write the query everything and so check the report properly again same goes to database team they will say that for creating view or store procedure we need again 2 days of time so like this under the story everything is mentioned theek okay? hai then what is the sub task okay i am going to show you the screenshot but just wait a minute um what is the sub task so in that sub task personally for example you are bi developer your personal sub task are made uh, for example uh, you are connecting with uh, database team and understanding their uh, view or store procedure so that sub task will be made and you will mention 2 hours you need for that work again creation of power bi or tableau or anything report which is there then again you will say you need 3 to 4 days for making it again the review is there internal external review among your team then you will say that again uh, you will create one more sub task for it and you will say that again i need 3 hours for that the fourth point is again business review is there okay or client review we can say again you will make one one separate sub task under that story and you will say that you need again one hour for that uh, again you can make uh, <clears throat> okay so these sub task are made and then you will send to the uh qa team what observations your managers has given then again you will implement that you will again send to qa team and qa team will uh, come with some of the observation or bug okay so they will create one more bug story okay and they will assign uh, on the name of you and then you will uh, uh, solve that all the observations and bugs and you will make error free report and then uh, again you will log your time in that bug story also ठीक है, लाइक दिस वे दिस स्टोरी सब टास्क एंड बग स्टोरी इज देर एंड दिस इज ऑल प्लान ऑन द स्प्रिंट फर्स्ट डे ओके विच इज नॉट ए स्प्रिंट प्लान इन डे एक्सेप्ट बग स्टोरी ओके एक्सेप्ट बग स्टोरी दिस ऑल स्टोरी सब टास्क एंड आई टी स्पाइक देर इज अ स्प्रिंट प्लानिंग मीटिंग ऑन फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द स्प्रिंट दैट टाइम इट इज क्रिएटेड बिकॉज बग स्टोरी इज नॉट क्रिएटेड वी डोंट नो आईदर द बग्स और ऑब्जर्वेशन विल कम और नॉट समाइम्स आई हैव मेड एरर फ्री रिपोर्ट ऑल्सो ओके So now let me tell you. Uh, let me show you this screenshots. See, like this, all your stories are made. ठीक है. These are the names of the story, and see, these are all your team members. Your photo will be also there in this report. Uh, sorry, in this Jira, and you have to just click on your uh, name so that all your story subtracts will be shown on you. And what is this then? Three, five, eight, one, five. These are all story points. Okay. For example, let's again take one our example that sales report report was there, and all teams work we needed around ten to twelve days for it. Okay, so for ten to twelve days, uh, there are around thirteen uh, fourteen story point. So if these three story points are there, na, then this story will need like three to four days. For this five story point, we will need five to seven days to complete it. Okay, for this one story point, it will need a single day to. complete that whole story properly 
for this 13 story point we will need 13 to 15 days to complete that report properly from ba team from database team for from power bi team and from qa team also okay and for this 13 story point your manager need to explain to your uh, client or business user properly why they need 13 days and then uh, your manager or even you power bi developer have to say that yeah that was the complex report we have to calculate many things in it or the conditional formatting was there or again migration from dev to prod when we migrate from dev to prod now we have to create conditional formatting again uh, sorry we have to make that conditional form apply conditional formatting again or recreate the calculated column measures everything so that was the reason why we need 13 to 15 days for this story we have to explain properly in that last day of sprint review meeting okay on the first day there is sprint planning meeting on the last day there is sprint review meeting okay okay let me show you this another ha huh, okay so see uh, when you create the sub task now there are three options now this uh, option is not coming in 2023 in jira only three options are there to do in progress and done when you create a sub task for example you create a sub task of create power bi report so when you create that time it will be in to do okay when you start creating you will just drag here and uh, push in it in in progress okay and here we need to means uh, original estimate is also there and time log is also there so there you will uh, log your time for example today it took 6 hours for you tomorrow for example when you work on that again tomorrow it took 8 hours for you so in progress it will be there then again uh, after completion of power bi report after the internal external review from your managers when you hand over that report to qa team and when qa team uh, comes with observation and when you solve that observations and show to client and client gives green signal that time you are dragging this uh, sub task for example create power bi report from in progress to done theek hai so there are three steps when you create sub task it will be in to do when you start when you start working on that sub task then it will be in progress and when you totally complete properly after review after observations from qa team and client qa team and client then you will drag it to done theek hai you have to complete all your sub task in that sprint before the last day of sprint and every day you need to Uh, log your eight hours properly and also write the comments when you open this sub task now actually i can't show you practically because there is no free version for that jira to show so i have came with this screenshot and uh, google photos okay so in this sub task when you click here now uh, there one comment option is there so in that comment option before stand up call you have to write the comment ha today i have created power bi report and then link to work you have to mention that link so which link that power bi service link you have to embed that there okay okay uh, stories for whole report mentioning okay so this point also uh, i have uh, covered and while creating sub task we give original time estimate and after work done okay so for example if there is a small power bi report and before uh, creating sub task on first day of uh, sprint planning day you have written 3 days so if it took 3 days then mention uh, in that time log 3 days and for example if if it took 3.5 days then also you can mention that no issues okay if 4 to 5 hours are exceeding no issues but if uh, you have given original estimate like 3 days and you are logging time for 6 days then you need to explain to client why more three days were needed for this power bi report then you have to explain properly okay and again coming to this last point in daily stand up call with apc uh, let's assume that you are um, shift time is from 11 to 8 uh, let's assume so at 7 pm before one hour of the shift timing there will be daily stand up call with your scrum master which is of your company and apm agile program manager uh, which will be from client side so all our four to five teams are connecting there first the leads speak what they have done today any road block is there and what we what they will do tomorrow they also tell what sub task id are there 
and uh, the scrum master is checking the comment and link to work the proof whether he has given or not only it is very simple meeting no issues in that but make sure that every day you are logging 8 hours in it also all uh, properly your uh, comments are there and uh, link you have embedded in that okay and what you have to say in that stand up call is that what you have done today properly you have to explain that ha huh, uh, this two works i have done i have connected with a business analysis team to understand the data uh, i have connected with a uh, dev team to understand uh, the view or store procedure again you have connected with your uh, power bi member or team member or your manager uh, i was having some issues and i was creating power bi report you can say that any roadblocks means what is meaning of roadblocks for example if database team was going to give you view on uh, let's say 17th of july today's day okay and for example even if today you are you have not got the consumption view or store procedure and uh, you are getting like two to three days late they are saying that we will need more two days for it so that is the roadblock you have to mention that in stand up call yeah they, this is the roadblock or the second road, uh, roadblock can be data availability okay the client has given us data but it is around 20 to 30% only so we can't start the work on that report so that can also be the roadblock okay even if the vdi is not working properly if the power bi tool has some technical issue or anything that is also the roadblock you have to mention that in stand up call meeting properly okay and the third point is what uh, you will do tomorrow okay so you can say that uh, today i have started creating power bi report and tomorrow tomorrow also i will be uh, continuing on that report only or you can say that i have published the report uh, now i have also solved all the observations given by uh, client and qa team and tomorrow i am going to do migrate power bi report from dev to prod environment you can say this all thing okay so this was all about jira the most important thing is it is project management tool let me repeat it again in 30 seconds it is a project management tool uh, mainly used for foreign clients okay and we create st story uh, for whole our report and sub task are created for our personal work what we have done to show okay in that original time estimated is given on sprint planning day and afterwards you have to mention how much time it was required to complete that work or sub task okay and in daily stand up call you are uh, mostly telling what you have done today any roadblocks and what you are going to do tomorrow and on the first day of sprint and last day of sprint we don't have any stand up call because on first day there is sprint planning call and on last day there is sprint review call along with your business users your clients okay thank you if you have any doubt regarding jira or anything you can comment within 1 hour i am going to reply okay so thanks for watching till end and if you like the video make sure you are liking and sharing with your friends please subscribe and follow uh, please subscribe and press by bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram and telegram thanks a lot everyone